Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is about what forces are. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. Okay, so most simply, a force is a push or a pull. That means anytime you see something pushing on something, or anytime you see something pulling on something, that is an example of a force. Now, not always uh, is it going to be from a physical object where there is contact. Um, for example, we can have magnets and they pull on things and they're applying forces, but they're doing so at a distance. And we'll talk about how that works at a future date. Now, forces can cause three things. First, they can cause pressure. They can cause uh, deformation or indentation. And lastly, they can cause acceleration. So really, if you want to see if something is uh, getting a force applied to it, those are the three things you would look for. Now, in this unit, we're mainly going to talk about the idea that forces cause acceleration. Now, forces are vectors, which means it has both size and direction. So if we wanted to represent the forces on this crate up here, we could represent them as an arrow, where the arrow has both a direction in this case, this one's going to the right, and a size showing how big that force is. Now, this is called a free body diagram where we represent anything in the world as just a box or a dot. Hopefully you've gotten used to that in other places as well. Now, just like before, um, since force is a vector, that means they can add together if they're in the same direction. So if we had two forces over here on the right, they would make a bigger force in this direction. Um, or we can have forces in opposite directions cancel out. So in this case, we actually have a force from person B um, in the opposite direction of the force from person A. And so they cancel out and this crate likely wouldn't go anywhere. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes. So one is you set in summary and do your follow up uh, questions on Google Forms.